This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to go over a question I get answered pretty frequently um, and it pertains to crossfire. So I, anyone who's watched my channel in the last two or three years knows that I use crossfire for my business. It's how I kill bed bugs. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. But I want to go over a couple of things about crossfire when it pertains to how you should apply it and why you're continuing to have problems with bed bugs after applying it and you know hopefully address a couple of things that you may be doing wrong uh, like I said again if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you really like it consider subscribing to my channel don't forget I stream live every Thursday night where I answer your questions you can call me I have a Skype number you can call right in and you can ask me anything on the air live I'm I try to help people where I can. Uh, I also have a Udemy course where how if, if you know this video isn't in informative enough or instructional enough or any of the other stuff on my YouTube channel, then I'd recommend you go there. It's about 40 minutes worth of information where you can actually learn exactly how to treat your car, how to treat your bedroom, your living room, uh, your entire house, you know, for bed bug issues. So if you really uh, you know are concerned about bed bug problems, and you want to be able to get a comprehensive course that will last a lifetime, your subscription never expires, you can always have access to it, then hit me up over on Udemy, take a look at my course, and uh, let's get on with talking about this problem with Crossfire. So, you have problems with bed bugs. You have treated your house for bed bugs with Crossfire. It's been maybe three, five days, and you're still getting bit. Why? I talk about Crossfire like it's the, uh, you know, the holy grail, like it's the next best thing since sliced bread, like it's the only thing you could treat with for bed bugs. Why are you still having bed bug problems? Number one, crossfire is not an instant kill application. You're not going to have bugs vaporize before your very eyes when you spray them with crossfire. And uh, that might be a little excessive. I'm not trying to mock you or anything like that. I'm just trying to explain that it takes time for bed bugs to die when they crawl through the chemical, even when it's wet. When you spray a bug on contact with crossfire, it takes about five minutes for it to die. It may die sooner, but typically it's a five minute kill on a bed bug. Um, the issue is that once it dries, it may take an hour or two for them to die. And even though crossfire will last for a month and will kill bed bugs for an entire month, the problem is is that as it's applied, the, the longer it gets between treatment times, so you know if it's been a week since you treated, it may take several hours uh, for a bed bug to die. If it's been three or four weeks since you've treated, it may take a day for a bed bug to die because it loses its effectiveness to kill them quickly over time. This is why a lot of people will say, well, I applied Crossfire again after two or three weeks and that's how I got rid of my problem because it's getting rid of it. It's getting rid of the problem even if you don't reapply, but it's going to get rid of it quicker because the problem is, is that because it loses effectiveness over a period of 30 days, you may want to reapply after two or three weeks because you're going to get that boost, that extra um, oomph that the chemical may need to kill them quicker. Because if you're just the type of person that has really bad reactions to bed bugs and you just really hate the idea of getting bit and you don't like being the bait and drawing them out and you'd rather kill them quicker before they get to you and bite you, then by all means, treat again. You know, treat a, uh, you know, a second or even a third time, uh, two to three weeks apart. Uh, you don't need to treat once a week. You don't need to treat twice a week. You just need to treat once every I, honestly i only ever treat once a month that's that's how i get rid of bed bugs for my customers i uh, think last year i think i did three follow-ups that's all i did the whole year i don't do very many if i did two maybe two two or three um it's very rare that i have to go back on a bed bug job it does happen 
it's not you know it's not a foolproof solution you do have issues where uh you have to retreat normally you'd have to retreat but let me explain why that would be because this is probably the the the, the main reason that i think crossfire gets so much flack is because people brought you brought bed bugs into your house from somewhere how did you bring them in was it a family member was it work was it maybe a hospice care was it a hospital stay? Did you go to stay at a hospital? Did you go to a movie theater? Um, did you ride public transit? There's lots of places that you can go and pick up bed bugs. Primarily, it's because people coming to your home that have bed bugs in their home, they may not even realize they have bed bugs, but they've brought them into your home. Um, and you don't know how they got into your home. All right. This is a problem. You have got to be a uh, uh, like Sherlock Holmes, you've got to, to look everywhere. You've got to search high and low for the person that brought bed bugs into your home. Maybe you're bringing them in from your car. Did you help a friend move three or four months ago? Uh, maybe put their stuff in your trunk. Maybe your trunk has bed bugs in it. You know, this is some of the things that you got to think about when you're treating for bed bugs. And this is where I tell people to buy my course. And I'm not trying to sell something because I give it away for free all the time. Um, is because my course, I go over actually how to treat a car and everything. How to clean the car properly, how to prepare it, how to prep your car, how to treat your car. Because bed bugs come in from cars all the time. In fact, if I find that uh, I've done several homes where I just treated the car and it took care of the problem because they were bringing them in from the automobile. So, if you're still treating your home and you don't understand why three, four, five months into treating every month with Crossfire, why you continue to have bedbug problems, the reason is because you're bringing them in or someone is bringing them in. You're reinfesting. So, so in my specific case, when I go out to a house, I've, I've never had to do a third treatment since I started with just the one-time onlys. Um, I have had to do a couple of follow-ups. If for some reason that even before I was using Crossfire, if I had to go back on a third or a fourth trip, it it's was because people were bringing in the bed bugs from somewhere else. One in specific uh, actually brought them in from the trunk of his car. Like I was saying, he helped a friend move and he was bringing them in from the trunk. So uh, keep that in mind when you're treating with Crossfire to uh, try to crawl, try try to cover all your bases. I know sometimes it's it's not possible to find out where you brought them from, and it may take you know maybe even a year before you figure out you know who actually brought them into your house. Because let's say it's a Thanksgiving thing, and it's a friend that comes over for Thanksgiving, and you only see them once a year. And every time around Thanksgiving, you start seeing bed bugs. You know it's going to be kind of hard to figure out who it was that brought them in. And it, that's why I said it may take you a year to figure out who actually brought them into your house because next year they come over and you get bed bugs again. You can say, oh, yep, that was the person, you know. So keep that in mind. You know, you, you're probably reinvesting. Every time I've ever had to go back more than two or three times, it's because people were reinvesting their homes with bed bugs. So hopefully this video has been informative to try to explain to you uh, how you can eliminate bed bugs and where you can find them and figure out where they're coming from. So hopefully this will help you. You'll learn how to use Crossfire. You'll get rid of your bed bug problem and you won't have them anymore. And uh, y'all have a great day. I really appreciate it. And like I said, live stream every Thursday night. Come hit me up. Ask me any questions you want. In fact, if you need a question asked right now, I recommend you leave a comment below or subscribe to the Discord. I'm always there, always talking to people um, all the time. So y'all have a real great day. I appreciate it. And like I said, like, follow, subscribe, share me on all your social media platforms, and let's get rid of these bed bugs together. Y'all have a real great day. I really appreciate it, and see you next time.